Hi everyone, Caroline here. Are you currently wearing a ring with a crystal on it or a healing crystal ring or a power crystal ring? And on which finger are you currently wearing that ring? Are you wearing it on the right finger or on the wrong finger? You know, this is an important question because fingers are associated with the flow of energy. So for those who love to wear crystal rings, I believe that it's important for them to know that your fingers matter. Just as your hands matter, just as your chakras matter, your fingers also matter okay you know in every society it's very common to wear rings for various reasons to signify some type of accomplishment and depending on what the accomplishment is rings can be worn on any finger and some rings are even worn on specific fingers like for example the wedding ring is usually worn on the fourth finger so it's a common practice everywhere but this specific video is going to be specifically for those who wear rings with crystals on them or for those who wear rings with the intention of physical, mental or emotional healing or for spiritual purposes because the finger on which you wear your crystal healing ring matters. So if you're currently wearing a crystal healing ring, what finger is that ring on? And what crystal is on that ring? Let me know in the comment section because again, the finger on which you wear your crystal healing ring matters. Okay? All right. You know, the thing is this, your fingers are associated with different types of energies. And let me give you an example. If you want to have balanced energy in your life and you wear a crystal ring for the purposes of balancing your energy and you wear that ring on the wrong finger, you might not get the expected balanced results that you want. And if you're sensitive enough, you might notice that you're suddenly experiencing some other things which are related to the finger that that ring is on. Because remember that your fingers are associated with specific energies and I'm going to tell you about them in a minute. Anywho, can you just imagine wearing a crystal or working with crystals to achieve a specific purpose and then getting something completely different or just adding some other extra things that you are not even prepared for into the equation just because you had no idea how certain things affect certain things? And I know it happens all the time to all of us, but I believe that sometimes once we get some information, we are more able to make some empowered choices for ourselves. And that's why I always believe that it's very important to understand certain things about how we work with the spiritual tools that we have, because it can save us a lot of heartache. You know what I mean? But it's all good because everything usually comes to us when we need that information and in due time. Nothing is ever late if you are really consciously tapped into wanting to know important things that affect our lives or that can empower us or enhance us. You know, we never really miss the boat, whether it's good or bad, because ultimately there's really nothing good or bad because everything just works out the way it needs to work out. Anywho, if you are a crystal ring wearer or if you're wearing your crystals consciously, just pay attention because crystals have energy and your fingers are energy transmitters as well. And all these energies influence our overall well-being. Okay, let me just be clear. Rings can be worn on any finger. And this is just a personal perspective that I'm offering for your consideration. You can wear your rings on any finger that you choose at any given moment. So feel free to do that or to continue doing that as well. Okay, all right, to get to the sweet stuff. There are various ways in alternative healing therapies in which the choice of fingers to wear a crystal healing ring are selected. And I personally work with two of these modalities, but I'm gonna be focusing on only one of them today, just to give you an idea and to keep it simple. So one of the modalities that I use to determine which healing crystal goes on which specific finger is based on the primary meridians in our body, which connects energies from our fingers and affects our organs, our lungs, our liver, our stomach, etc. But I'm not gonna talk about that today. I might make a separate video on it because there's so much interesting stuff about how the energy that flows through our fingers affects our organs. It's just so fascinating. So maybe there's going to be a separate video about that. But for today, what I want to share with you is the other way of the right finger choice for your healing crystal rings. So you can benefit from the crystals that you're wearing around your finger, or at least so you can get it correct to whatever degree. And this perspective that I love so much is based on the idea of polarity or balancing your energy, which involves balancing the flow of energy in your body so you can improve your health or maintain your health. 
All right. If you want to balance your life or you want to balance your emotions when they're all acting up, or if you want to balance your energy when you're feeling too hyper or too mellow, or if you want to keep your mind straight so you're just not overthinking stuff and things are not up or down or up or down. If you want to balance your energy, wear crystal rings on your thumb. Okay. I know there are people who wear crystal rings on their thumb. I just could never do it personally because for me, it's so distracting. Even just to wear rings is just something else. But anywho, that's neither here or there. If you want balanced energy, thumb, thumb, thumb. Okay? All right. If you want to attract energies that help you resolve a situation or if you want to attract energies that help you resolve a condition that you're going through or experiencing, whether those energies you want to attract are ideas or insight or wisdom that comes from somewhere to help you resolve a situation or a condition or whether what you want to attract are people who can give you guidance or support or provide you with something that can help you resolve a situation or a condition that you are experiencing. Whatever it is, if you want to attract something to yourself or to resolve a situation, wear your crystal healing ring on your index finger or on your middle finger. Okay? Index finger or on your middle finger. The choice of crystal each person uses is obviously different because everyone wants to attract something different. So it's just going to be based on what is it that you want to attract or what it is that you want to resolve. In any event, index finger and middle finger for attraction and resolution. Okay, the next fingers are your fourth and fifth fingers. The middle finger can also fall in this group. These fingers are about acceptance and affirmation of who you are. They're about affirming and accepting what you want or what you have. They make a statement about what you're all about or how you know yourself to be. They affirm you. They are about something that you have accepted. For example, when people wear rings on their fourth finger, they affirm or accept that they are married. When people wear rings on their third finger, they might be affirming or accepting that they are engaged. So if you're working with issues of affirmation or acceptance, you can wear your crystal healing rings on your fifth finger, your fourth finger, or even your middle finger to affirm, I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am safe, I am secure, I am the boss, I am the king or the queen of Zamunda, whatever. You know what I mean? Affirm that thing, accept that thing, carry that energy, embody that energy, and use your crystal healing ring on the right finger to maintain that flow of energy that you want in your life. So this is just an idea of how you can work with crystals on your fingers to help you consciously or with intention tap into the energy of your fingers, which are portals of energy. So anywho, if you love wearing crystal rings and you're currently feeling off or you've been noticing that even though you wear your crystal rings, things are just not happening the way they need to happen, just check to see if you're currently wearing that ring on a finger that matches your desired outcome. And if it's not on that right finger, switch that ring and see what happens. So are you currently wearing a crystal healing ring? What crystal is on that ring? And on which finger is that ring? Let me know in the comment section. And don't forget to email me at caroline at crystalstock.com. I offer personal one-on-one -on -one consultations about how to work with your spiritual tools. And until next time, let's keep it correct. All right? I love you guys. Bye.